Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have another ship with me video to share with you guys. I got an overwhelming amount of positive feedback on my last ship with me video, which was the first time I had ever done something like that. So that was really exciting. Thank you guys so much for giving me your feedback and letting me know that you liked it. That means a lot to me. So I had a couple, a few days of really good sales recently and I thought it would be a good time to film another one. I also had several items sell quickly, which I think is always um, some good information for you guys to hear about what's selling quickly and what is doing well on the Poshmark app. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get started. I have pulled everything from my inventory rack back here. This is where I keep most of my inventory. I keep jeans and shorts in a pull-out, um, like a plastic organizer type thing. And all of my hanging tops and dresses are on this rack. So I pulled everything already. I've put it on my shipping rack. I have printed my labels and I am ready to go. So first off, we have this Urban Outfitters jumpsuit. It's a plaid jumpsuit, super cute. I got this from the bins maybe about a month ago. It's like a bodycon jumpsuit. And so I probably paid, it's pretty lightweight. I would guesstimate maybe like $1.50 for this. And this was actually a full price sale. So that was awesome. It sold for $40, which was my list price. And that meant my earnings were $32. Like I said, I did get this at the bins, so um, my profit was right around $30 or $31, which that's awesome. I, For my business, I like to aim to make a profit of right around $20 on each item, and so anytime that I go above that, it's always very exciting. So I have my duck brand paper here that I'm wrapping with, my thank you stickers from Amazon, I showed these in the last video. This is what the package looks like. I grab my Tyvek envelope and my label, double check that that is the item on the back. That's probably the most important step. my Ikea bag down here that I just throw everything into. Okay, next is this pair of, uh, they're like a, they're not a legging, they're more like a jogger. And they are by the brand Sweaty Betty. They're a size extra large and these are the softest uh, pair of pants I have ever felt in my life. Um, I've said it a million and a half times recently, but loungewear, comfy, casual items are selling really well for me right now, especially in a size extra large. Larger sizes typically do better for me than a lot of brands. So... I think these were these were listed at fifty dollars, and she offered me forty, which I accepted, making my earnings thirty-two dollars. I got these at Goodwill, and my Goodwill prices pants at seven dollars, and so I made right around twenty-five dollars on these. So again, that's awesome. Okay, so next we have Anthropology Field Flower Sweater. 
and I actually got this in my ThreadUp outlet order that I recently did a haul on, um, which I've been really enjoying ordering from ThreadUp's online outlet portal. It really helps to supplement my sourcing just because it does take so much time driving and shopping. You know, it's, it's really exhausting if you guys, I'm sure you know, are any type of part-time, full-time reseller. It is a tough job to be out there sourcing. And so it's really nice to be able to order an extra, you know, 20 items a week or every other week um, because I'm just, you know, at home on my couch. I can um, browse while I'm watching TV and I'm basically, you know, sourcing. So yeah. And because my cost of goods is so low, I shop at a lot of outlets, the bins or the Family Thrift Center outlet, where everything is $2 a piece. It really averages out, and my average cost of goods is still only like 3 to $4, um, even with, you know, when you average everything together. So for this Anthropology sweater, I think I had it listed at $32, or it might have been $38, somewhere in that $30. 35 ish dollar range and she offered me $28 which I thought was super fair um, I accepted my earnings were $22.40 I spent $7.50 per item on ThreadUp and that makes my net profit $15 for this sweater so I'm very happy with that no drive time, no shopping time, um, and so that's great. Okay, next we have, these are Old Navy vintage full length overalls. And these, I would, I probably have had these for about a month, I would say, maybe a little less than a month. I did get these at the Family Thrift Center outlet. I was a little hesitant to pick them up at first. I know that vintage overalls do well, but I was like, Old Navy vintage overalls. However, they sold for $40. It was a full price sale, and it was actually a guest buyer. I know that because their username was like a series of numbers. It was like a just a random assortment of letters and numbers. Um, and that means that they found it while they were searching on Google and they just checked out. So if you check out as a guest, Poshmark just assigns you like a random username. And then once you complete the purchase, you can go in and change, change it to an actual username. So yeah, a guest buyer bought these for $40 full price. That meant my earnings were $32, I paid two, and so my net profit was 30. So I was extremely happy with that. Let's see if these will fit in. Yeah. sticker very important have to thank our buyers Johnny Cash themed graphic t-shirt size medium. This actually sold to a repeat buyer of mine. I listed it at $25 and she offered me $20, which I did accept. It does have a little bit of uh, normal wear. These burnout shirts, they get pilling really easily, but it kind of goes with the vibe of the shirt, so I don't think anyone really minds it too much. So she sent me an offer of 20 my earnings were 16 I paid 2 making my profit $14. So that was great. 
I would say my biggest tip for um, having repeat buyers is to, um, what's my biggest tip? I would say it would be making sure that you are describing your items accurately, um, being consistent, basically, uh, and also just establishing credibility would be my biggest tip. There we go. Um, if they order from you once and the order comes and it's exactly how you described it, that builds that credibility that you are, you know, someone that's not going to say, oh, you know, this is excellent condition if it actually has a lot of wear, where you describe it as new with tags, or new without tags, but you've worn it like 10 times. So just, you know, being honest is a huge thing, establishing credibility, um, having good customer service, and um, establish, establishing good rapport with your buyers. That is huge. This is Ski Patrol. It's a graphic thermal waffle knit. This is by Sundance Size Small. I picked this up from the bins, and I thought this was precious when I got it. And ski themed uh, graphics do really well for me. I mentioned in the haul video when I showed this that it reminded me of the brand Alpenrock, which is definitely a Bolo brand. That's ALP-N-Rock. Um, those thermals go for 50 plus. Um, so this Sundance top was listed, I would say about a month, and I think it was listed for about 30, maybe 32-ish, and she offered me 22, which I did accept. My earnings were $17.60. Like I said, I got it from the bin, so I probably paid about a dollar making my profit right around $17 or $16.60. So not bad. Okay. Okay, so this was a fun fun piece. This is a huge handmade, hand knit crochet duster length grainy square cardigan. Um, and I found this at the outlet, the family thrift outlet, for $2. Um, fell in love with it, bought it, and it sold for $50. I think I had it listed right around maybe like 60 or 65 and someone offered me 50 which I was very happy with. Okay so this is obviously a very bulky item so what I'm gonna do I've already made up a couple of these boxes just because it's really loud to put them together. I wanted to do it off camera. This is what it looks like not made and this is box number seven you can order this from usps.com for free and it is amazing for items like this so basically what i do set this here is i will line the bottom of the box with a sheet of paper put the item in and it looks like this. Oops. I have to account for gravity there. And then I will add another piece of paper. And then I add my thank you sticker to the top of that. So, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not amazingly beautiful or anything, but it still looks like I made an effort to add, um, add in some 
paper and details and things, so... Sorry, that's super loud. Um, and I think that's what your buyer is looking for. I have never had an issue with rain or water damage. I do obviously use paper packaging and not plastic. Sorry guys, but um, my buyers have never complained. So, okay. Um, I'm going to add these. You can also order these free from USPS.com. They're just these stickers that have a backing you peel off. And I just add them where the fold seams are just to make sure it is very secure and closed. Actually a lot of a lot of people have um, mentioned that they really liked the paper packaging because um, you know obviously it's eco-friendly and um, that is you know the biggest reason that I choose to use paper is because it's better for the environment. So yeah, I got an offer for $50. My earnings were $40. I paid $2. So I profited $38 on this cardigan. Okay, next up we have this Ula Popkin cardigan. Really pretty. I love this teal color. It has this tie detail in front and some embroidery here. And this is a plus size brand. This cardigan converts to a size 5X. And I think it's an amazing quality cardigan. Um, so yeah. And so this was a new Timmy brand. This was the first time I had ever sold it. I think I listed it for around $30 just based on style. Maybe $35. And I got an offer of $20. And I just went and looked at sold comps to see what I should do. And there were a lot of items from this brand that had sold under $20. So um, I did counter to $25 just because it is a little bit more of a um, substantial piece. It's a cardigan and it is a 5X and it's just really nice. She accepted the $25 counter making my earnings $20. Once again I paid $2 for this making my net earnings $18. Okay. So for this, this is a larger package, but not large enough to use that box seven. I would get my, this is a 1095 box. Everything that I use is free from USPS.com. I can add, I'll put the list on the screen again that I added in the last video. It's a handy list to have. It just tells you the, the numbers of all the boxes that I'm using. So yeah, I'm excited to add another brand to my list of what I will pick up. I don't know if I would pick up like less um, substantial pieces from this brand. I definitely take style into consideration. Okay. Now we have a three-piece bundle. So first off we have this pair of Zara jeans. I love these. I think they're so cool. They're like a patchwork pinstripe on the inside, distressing, just a lot going on. And then second piece is 
feel the peace um, brand and this is super soft this is an alpaca blend sweater it has distressing I think I had this in my last haul um, I would say the Zara pants have been listed about a month and um, these two sweaters, I'll show you the second sweater in just a second, have been listed maybe less than two weeks, I would say. So this bundle actually sold while I was sleeping. That's that's always really fun when you wake up and you have a full price full price bundle sale. Um, and this is the third item. It says H and M ninety four sweater. It's like a really chunky soft sweater. I actually picked this up for myself, but. It was just a little bit too oversized on me. Um, I I would probably wear a medium, but this is like a large or an extra large. And so it sold for a hundred and five dollars the bundle, making my earnings seventy one forty. Does that sound right? A hundred and five dollars to seventy? No way. Let me see here. Yeah, that's wrong. I don't know where I got a hundred and five from. <laughs> so the bundle sold for eighty nine twenty five. My Poshmark fees were seventeen eighty five. My net earnings were seventy one forty. I paid two dollars a piece for these. I got them all at the outlet, so that's six dollars. So seventy one forty minus six. I'm just gonna calculate it. Don't judge me. Sixty five forty. So, yeah, I don't know where that 105 number came from. That's really random. Let me see. Did I have... I did not have a sale that was $105. So, I guess I just made that up. But, yeah. So, just to uh, clarify one more time. The bundle sold for $89. And I made a net profit of 65 So that's pretty good. I will definitely um, not complain about that, especially because I kind of got that sweater for me. That's the beauty of reselling is you can buy stuff and um, you're not stuck with it. You can resell it and make a profit off of it. to double check this label just because I don't know how I got that far off. So yeah, okay, well I got the username right so that's probably the most important thing. I'm going to add one of these to this just because it is, what am I doing? Okay, th see this is why I cannot, I cannot multitask guys. I am terrible at multitasking. This is a bundle, so yeah, just bear with me please. Um, this needs to, I probably should send the entire bundle, right? Okay, so I don't think I don't think this will fit into this box. 
maybe we'll see so that's a lesson to pay attention to what you're doing I'm pretty sure I would have there would have been no way I would have actually um, sent just the sweater but who knows I do like to double and triple check my um, shipping, so I am pretty thorough, but when you add multitasking to the mix, things get pretty crazy. Alright, that's better. And just stick this on here. one to the other side. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Things are getting wild around here. Okay, so that's done. That might be over five pounds. I need to weigh that um, after I'm done here just to be sure. Next, just a pair of Levi shorts. I think I can handle this. These are 501 Distressed High Waisted Button Fly Shorts. I grabbed these from the bins and I've had them listed for probably about a month and a half now. Um, summer is winding down and so people, or is it over? I don't know. Houston only has, like, summer and a very short winter, so, um, but, yeah, so I'm trying to get my shorts out of here, um, and so I did accept an offer of $18 on these. They also had a little bit of discoloration on the back, and so, my earnings were $14.40 after fees. I paid about a dollar at the bins, making my net profit $13. Okay, now, all right, here we go. Let's see if I can do this. Seven piece bundle. So, first off, we have this BKE, it's Gimmicks by BKE, really cute multicolor cardigan. And you know what? I have, so I'm just going to use another one of these boxes. And I'm just going to kind of set everything in there. So I'm going to line it. I'm going to line the bottom again. And then just nicely fold everything in. Now, if there were like silk items in here, I would wrap them individually. Or I would be a little bit more um, mindful of you know, stacking things together, but I think everything in here is like cotton or some kind of knit, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, these were, these were two pairs of Free People shorts. Blue jeans, and these are like a cream color, and they have little rosettes on the side, which is precious. Anthropology sweater. This is a mohair blend. This actually also came from my thread up outlet haul um, that I sourced online. These two shorts were from the actually these two shorts and the cardigan, the BKE cardigan, was from the Family Thrift Center outlet, as well as these two items. Free People Red Thermal, Beach Lunch Lounge Embroidered Mini Dress. Really cute. 
I'm going to add a piece of paper in between. Actually, let me do one more item. I'm hoping I have enough room in this box. This is a very large bundle. I normally don't have big bundles like this, but I am not opposed to it. Okay, so we'll add that, and then we'll do another sheet. And I'll add this top, and then the last piece in the bundle is this Free People maxi dress. So beautiful. So it's super strappy up top. It's like a chambray upper. And then this gorgeous ombre, kind of like jagged hem skirt portion at the bottom. I actually got this from a consignment store here in Houston, and I paid $20 for it. I've actually already made my money back and started making a profit um, from the other items from the store. So um, because this was a summer item, I was okay with um, moving it out. Same goes for the shorts. Um, and so, yeah, I was very happy to move out some summer items. I am going to, or I am wrapping this one individually just because it's a little bit of a nicer piece. And I just think that would be a better presentation. There's really no rhyme or reason to how I ship. I just make sure that everything gets there in the same condition I disclosed it to be in. So, so now when you open the box, it looks like that. I need to weigh this one also, actually. Okay, so then we'll seal this up. to add some more of these guys just for a peace of mind and then after I do this I am going to double check on the Poshmark app in my sales I'm just gonna look through this bundle purchase to make sure that I got everything in the box um, it you can never hurt by double checking your work. So, or in this case, like triple checking. So, yeah, okay, got everything. Now we will add the label. And like I said, I will be weighing this just to make sure if it is over five pounds. Um, all I'll do is I'll go into my sales and I'll click on the bundle sale and um, I will go to need new shipping label. There's like some options. Um, maybe you had it set on the wrong size or whatever, but I would select the option of wrong weight or like, I forget what it says, S something about uh, need heavier weight label and then you just select the weight that it is and they will email you another one. It, it does cost a little bit. It might be like three or four dollars for the next pound up. So this is an H&M. Actually, I didn't talk about my profit on that last one. Okay, so it was a seven piece bundle. The 
bundle sale price was $120. So she bundled it and then asked me to send her an offer. The bundle price was $190, I believe. And I sent her an offer of $120 with discounted shipping. Again, we had quite a few summer items in that box. And so I was okay with just kind of moving some stuff out. Um, she accepted that offer. My earnings were $93 dollars and 88 cents and my net profit was right around sixty dollars this is an H&M sweater it's the back size large alpaca blend it's a high low and this was another very recent pickup I probably had this for maybe about a week listed and I actually I dropped um, my prices. So last night was closet clear out sale on Poshmark. And when they're having a closet clear out sale, a lot of the time I will discount or I'll drop the prices of like 10 items. And if I make sales, um, like if, you know, several sale, from the ones that I discounted. I will take that as a sign that people are out and about on Poshmark, they're active, they're buying. Um, but if I drop 10 items and nothing sells, then that kind of tells me, you know, it's just not a good time. And, um, you know, that kind of saves you from lowering all these prices and not making any sales. So I did have two Sales. I sold this and then I sold the next piece from the closet clear out sale, which isn't amazing, you know. So I dropped 10, sold to 20% of what I dropped sold. Um, but, you know, I'm happy that those two sold. Um, but yeah, I only dropped 10 last night. I think it got too late and I just kind of went to bed. Um, but I dropped this from, I think it was at like 30 to $22, someone did purchase it, so they got the discounted shipping. That came out of Poshmark's funds, not mine. Um, my earnings were $17.60. I paid $2 for this sweater, so my net profit was $15. Okay, I'm gonna add one of these. Next, okay, so this is the second closet clear out sale I had. This is Lily's Closet from Anthropology. This is a size large, it's a color block, a long sleeve dress. This is yet again from my Thread Up outlet haul. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy that that stuff is selling. That is a great sign that kind of encourages me to order more and I had this listed for I think like $40 this dress got like 12 likes within the first couple days it was pretty popular um, and I dropped the price to $32 it did sell my earnings were $25.60 I paid $7.50 for each item, making my net profit $18.10, which I'm super happy with. Um, if I can make right around a $20 profit on something that I sourced online, I am ecstatic about that. I don't, I didn't spend any money on gas or, um, you know, time shopping, time is money. So yeah, I was happy about that. And this was probably listed, hmm, I think I listed all the thread up stuff a couple weeks ago. Okay, next. Alright, so we're getting into what I listed last night. 
So um, I listed the shoes that I wanted to list from my thread up shoe rescue box. I did do an unboxing on it and I was sure that like nothing was going to sell, but I sold, I've already sold three pairs. So in one night. So that was pretty exciting. Um, first are these dance go Mary Jane patent leather shoes. And these are a size 43, which is a large size. That's, it's like a 12 and a half to a 13. Um, and I was not super happy with this box. You could probably tell if you watched the video. And so I just kind of wanted to get my money back um, and kind of be done with it. <laughs> so someone offered me $30 for these. I did accept. And I probably could have made a little bit more. But like I said, I... I was totally fine with just kind of getting these out of my closet and moving on from them and this box. So they sold for 30. My earnings were $24. I paid $6 per pair of shoes in the box, making my profit $18 on these shoes. And there you go. So I didn't really show you how I did that, but um, I, I'll i show you um, in a second how I did that. I did wrap them separately, but I only used one sheet of paper, basically. shoes from the box. These, these are Prada. And um, even though, you know, they are Prada, obviously, they are dated and they do have wear and damage to them. So the leather um, insole is peeling up. It needs to be re-glued. Obviously, I disclosed everything and they do just have, you know, general wear to them. So, I listed these at $45. Um, I'm going to use two pieces of paper on these just because they are Prada. And that would be a disgrace to use one piece of paper on Prada. And they will also get two thank you stickers. <laughs> So yeah, I had these listed at $45. Someone offered me $40 a couple hours after being listed, which I accepted. Um, there's nothing I like more than a quick sale. I, you know... $6 per pair of shoes, making my profit $26 on these. Let 
me just again double check that. Yeah. Okay. And okay, so another pair to have sold from the thread up box. I was really surprised, y'all. So someone actually watched my video and saw these in the video. I did mention that I wasn't going to list them, but she liked them, so she DM'd me on Instagram and asked me if I would list them for her. They're the BCBG Generation Flats, and so I said, yeah, I'll list them for $10 tomorrow if that works for you. And she was like, yeah, great. So I listed them today, and she bought them immediately after being listed. So that was nice. Okay, so let me show you guys, bring you closer, how I wrap a pair of shoes with one piece of paper. So basically, I just put the shoe here. Usually, I will tape this part down, add the other one, and then tape this like so. So the shoes are still separated, but we're only using one piece of paper. Then you continue to fold. Nice and secure, yet very eco-friendly. Okay, and bring you back up a little bit. So our last sale, is this our last sale? Why do I have to, oh, this is not our last sale. Our second to last sale. Oops. Is that better? Okay. Our second to last sale is this pair of Zara pants that I sold today. I picked these up from the Family Thrift Center outlet yet again, $2. They're a wide leg, brown and white polka dot printed pant really cute. I think these were like a blogger favorite. So these sold for $28 and that makes my earnings $22.40. I paid two, meaning my net profit was $20 on these. sticker and then coming down to our last sale I sold these Skechers Jammers is that what they're called? Yes and I had these I listed these last night and I mentioned them in a thrift haul that this whole 90s Skechers uh, trend is huge right now with the leather and the platform. I'm going to wrap these separately. They are leather and they're also a big shoe. So. Um, when I was researching these last night to look at comps, I saw someone had an ISO post, which is which means in search of. So um, she was in search of Skechers Jammers in a size six, and she said either black or brown. And so I just left her a comment on her in search of post, and I said, "Hey, I just listed a pair." In my closet, they're a size six brown. If you want to go, you know, check them out if you're still looking for these. And um, she ended up purchasing them, so that was awesome. I listed them for 65. A lot of the comps for these jammers style specifically 
go from like 50 up to like even a hundred. Um, they are really popular. But these did have some scuffing on the toes. They had some wear um, as well as to the interior. And so um, I she offered me $50 and I accepted. I also, I paid $2 for these. So, you know, I'm very happy with that sale. My earnings were 40 and I made a profit of $38 on these. So I am extremely happy with that. I actually also listed a pair of Skechers platform leather sandals. So we'll see how those do. Um, but yeah, I was super happy about this. It took like you know, one day to sell or a couple hours. I can't remember if they sold last night or today. Um, so yeah, there's that. So that's it for my shipping video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me some feedback. Um, a thumbs up would be great. Subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.